Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. All right. In this video, we're going to look at dividing rational expressions involving quadratics with leading coefficients greater than one. Process is still the same. You want to rewrite these uh, this problem as a multiplication problem. So you're going to multiply the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second fraction and then factor and simplify. OK, so let's go through that process. Let's first of all rewrite it as a multiplication problem. and then after we rewrite it we want to factor so I have 10x squared plus 17x plus 3 that I need to factor so I'll come up here and start off with my AC, my AC method 10 times 3 is 30 and factors of 30 that gives me a sum of 3 or 17 sorry sum of 17 so um, what about 2 and 15 Right, so I'm going to rewrite the 10x squared plus 17x plus 3, replacing the 17x with 2x and 15x. And then once we get it rewritten, remember we write it in four terms so we can group. So the GCF of the first group is 2x. So if I divide 10x squared by 2x, it leaves me with 5 times x. If I divide 2x by 2x, it leaves me with 1. The GCF of the second group is 3. So divide each one of those by 3. 15x divided by 3 is 5x. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Right, and then factor out the common binomial 5x plus 1 and then multiply by 2x plus 3. All right, so for coming back over here to my problem, I have 5x plus 1 times 2x plus 3. And that first denominator, I have a GCF of 5. So divide each one of those by 5. 5x divided by 5 is x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then I have x plus 2 in my numerator. And then I need to factor, again, factor my denominator using the AC method. So 5 times 7 is 35. Uh, and you can go through the whole chart. I'm just trying to go through it a little bit quicker. 5 times 7 is 35. I need factors of 35 that add up to be 36, which will be 35 and 1. So 5x squared plus 35x plus 1x plus 7. So I did the same thing. I just did it mentally, did that chart to find the factors of 35 and 1 that multiplies to be 35 and adds up to be 36. All right, two groups. GCF out of the first group, 5x, leaves us with 1x plus 7, understood, 1. GCF of the second group, remember if you don't see anything else you can factor out, you must factor out a 1, so factor out a 1, that leaves us with 1x, or understood, 1x plus 7. Common binomial, x plus 7, factor that out. And you're left with 5x plus 1 to go in the other parentheses. So bring that back to your problem. x plus 7 times 5x plus 1. Now that we have it completely factored, now we need to simplify. All right, so 5x plus 1 in my numerator, 5x plus 1 in my denominator x plus 2 x plus 2 all right we cancel out those common factors write down what's left in one fraction 
So 2x plus 3, again, we don't need parentheses because we don't have any other factors in the numerator. All over 5 times x plus 7. Alrighty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.